Hi, this is Ralph, and in the last video we created a television, television set with video running in the background. So if I do a control enter, we can see what we've got. There it is. Okay, now I want to go through and I want to create some, some buttons. And I'm going to use the, the built-in buttons that come with Flash. They, they're, uh, so they, they give you a few choices here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to head over to the window panel. And common libraries buttons okay so that'll give us some buttons to choose from and they have a category on here for playback buttons and there's playback flat okay and they've also got some playback rounded a few different colors so there's some gray gray forward gray pause gray place so I'm going to use those I'm going to jump over to my TV controls layer make sure that's unlocked I can go and in fact lock everything else except my TV controls and on frame one of my TV controls I'm going to go ahead and take a uh, play button I'll stick that right up here and then I'll take a pause button and then I will take a rounded gray stop button and put those on there and I'm done with that panel so now I've got these three buttons. And using my selection tool, I'll go ahead and select all three of them. And then with my alignment tool, let's see, I will go ahead and uh, match theirs. Well, didn't want to do that. That's matched over to the stage. Let me control Z undo. Let me uncheck my two stage button, match their size. And let's go ahead and line them all up nice and neat there. And let's see, I'm going to actually click on one independently. I'm going to bring them a little bit closer together. Go ahead and select all three again. Alignment tool. And I will just use my distribute to make sure they're evenly spaced. Okay, so that part's taken care of. I'm going to use my text transform. I'm going to size all of them a little bit bigger. Okay. And then I can just kind of position them exactly where I want. There we go, so there are my controls. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I do wanna assign some actions to these controls. So here's my TV controls. In fact, let me go ahead and extend them all the way out to the end of my movie. I'll just go to that end frame. I'll just press an F5 there. So my controls are all extended out. Okay, and I'm gonna click on frame one of my TV controls and I'm gonna to go to actions. And I'm going to type up a little bit of action script here. Nothing too, uh, nothing too complex, so just type along here. Uh, the first thing I was going to type is a stop action. Technically, I'm actually kind of fond of putting a stop action right on the... That's where I created this actions layer to put a stop action right up in here. Uh, so that would keep the movie from playing automatically. Let me give you a quick example of that. I'm just going to do a right click in actions. I'll type in the stop function close that. So now there's an action on frame one that will stop the whole movie. So if I do a control enter right now, notice the movie doesn't play. It's just stopped right there and an action has to take place in order to get it to move on to frame two and beyond. Okay, so there's no action for these buttons yet, but I could press my enter key to get that going. So that's one thing I like to do. The other thing, I also like to put an action at the very end to stop this. So I'm going to jump all the way to the end. I'll go to the last frame of my actions layer. I'll press F6 to make a keyframe. Actions, type in a stop function. There we go. And that'll keep that movie from looping automatically. Okay, but let's get back into these TV controls. So let me right click on frame one of my TV controls. Actions. There we go. So I don't need to put a stop function in here, but I am going to go ahead and uh, put in some references to my buttons. Now I want to reference my pause, play, and stop buttons. I haven't given them instance names yet, so I'll have to make sure I do that uh, as soon as I'm done with this step here. But I'm going to go ahead and write in pause button, add event listener, okay? And it's going to be on click is the event. I'll spell it properly. And then I do want it to, uh, I'll do a do pause. There we go. So pause button is going to be my instance. I have to go name that button pretty soon here. I'm going to, an event listener is going to be a click and then I'm going to have a pause. So I'm going to use a, a do pause function. All right, so I've got that taken care of. I'm going to copy this, paste it a couple times. We're going to have a pause button, a play button, a stop button. 
do play and do pause. There we go. Oh, sorry, that needs to be stop. Okay, got those taken care of. Now I'm going to create a function here. Function for do pause. The event. What do I want it to do? Well, I want it to stop. Okay. So there's one function. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Paste it a couple times. My next function will be play the event. The action is going to be to play. And for pause, actually, I'm sorry, I've got that pause already. This is going to be stop for the event. And what I'm going to have it do here is I'm going to go to and stop. Which frame? Frame one. Go to and stop at frame one. So I'll take it basically to the very beginning. All right, have that taken care of. So let me go ahead and uh, close out of here. And I do need to name those buttons. So on my TV controls, let me click on each button individually. And I'm going to go to the instant name. And I'm going to put in, this is my uh, play button. So I'll do play button, instance name, pause button. And then, of course, I have my stop button. Fantastic. OK, so I have my buttons uniquely identified with instance names, and I've got the action controlling. Things should be looking pretty good here. Let me do a control enter. Let's test this out. Okay, now my movie is automatically stopped at frame one. It's waiting for an action, so let me go ahead and uh, it's waiting for an event. I'm going to go and click my play button. Pause. Play. Pause. Stop. Takes me back to the beginning. There we go. So there's a little bit of Flash movie inside. I'm sorry, it's really a, a video clip inside of a Flash movie. So we can create a bunch of series, uh, you know, kind of little TV controls. And if you're really creative, then you can have several different video clips in different layers. And you could set, you know, you could have a channel button. We could switch over to different channels and look at different videos. Take care.